check for advanced restart button it's available if you don't have that you can use volume up button and power button to boot into recovery i am having a advanced restart button hence booting into recovery using that this is the latest twrp recovery available for poco x3 or nfc surya karna whatever it is go to wipe section and select advanced weapon select dalvik catch and data and swipe here to wipe it once that has been done go to home section here and select install and select the micro sd card and wherever you downloaded the rom zip files firmware those things select that and first go to firmware and flash the 12.5.5.0 surya global flash it done again go to home section here and select install and this is the unofficial build the pixel experience plus surya 12.1 latest build available for poco x3 let me get you a little bit closure as you can see you can see here with may security patch and build date also you can see here 23rd may latest available build it takes a little bit of time to flash the rom wait until it gets flashed as you can see the rom zip file has been flashed successfully again go to home section here and select wipe and select format data and type here yes and press this tick button done again go to home section and select reboot and select the system this is how the flashing method of pixel experience 12.1 on surya based on may security patch latest build based on android 12.1 it takes a little bit of time to boot into rom in this video i am going to explain everything in detail regarding this particular rom for poco x and follow same method guys you will never face any problems here we go it's booted into pixel experience 12.1 let's begin this video Hey, back again to new video i am in and as sampas fx welcome to my youtube channel this is poco x custom rom reviews android version 12 pixel experience 12.1 for surya you can see here and the kernel user is 4.14.198 laum you can read full here that's the kernel used in this particular rom very good rom and i have been running the cpu throttling test from last five minutes and 10 seconds you can see here the maximum is 145 and average is 142 and minimum is 129 million gfs and there is no cpu thermal throttling has been detected that's why it's very good no not only just this results and benchmark results i have tested it from morning it's a very good rom and this is the home screen you get and here this is the android 12.1 style if you just swipe it the wallpapers get applied widgets android 12 widgets are available you can see here into the clock just drag here if you want to further edit also you can just drag and edit them in the home screen as you can see widget settings like that you can choose some of the presets of these widgets and coming to home settings obviously it come with pixel launcher as you can see at a glance everything is working fine no problem it's a clean and clean ui with little bit of customization hence it's named as pixel experience plus android version 12.1 mostly you won't see any changes this is the one change and two-handed mode this is the one change and multi-screen if you use a little bit of changes there compared to android 12 and stability and ui enhancements has been done very good will it have same thing let's see in this video and uh, coming to speed test here i have 100 mps geo giga fiber connection it's pulling up to 90 to 95 mps which is not a problem even with mobile data internet also it's working fine carrier aggregation also supported no problem regarding that while making calls also there is no any echo or low voice like that there is no problem that's the good thing about this rom let's me show you the dialer let me increase this is the volume band you get you won't get any customization for that and you get direct video call feature in this pixel experience 12.1 and call recording is also given you can use that but anyhow it's the other person notice that you are recording the that's how it is working from now and coming to safety net status here you will get passed let's see as you can see it's get passed 
you can use all the payment applications like google pay phone pay paytm whatever you want to use you can use even the whatsapp is also working fine no problem regarding that and coming to benchmark results here app opening times you can judge and single score is 508 and multi score is 1644 and kernel user is linux 4.14.1 in it what i said this is the scores it is okay but not great even my redmi note 7 pro can score similar that's how it is that's why i don't believe in benchmark results and coming into like enter the benchmark here 3 lakh 62,652 and temperature raise was just 1.6 degrees and battery drop is 3 percentage in recent times this is little bit higher compared to 2 percentage that's how it is and device is also got little bit warm compared to any other roms recently i've lost that's how it is while setuping only it got little bit warm later it's okay now also it's cool enough that's how it is i will show you the bgma also and into the settings it's simple pixel experience rom and into battery battery usage you can see here it hasn't recorded for first time i don't know why and thermal profiles this is the customization available and if you see here there is an option of adding the battery percentage here those things are added in the system status bar here you can customize them only three are given text icon portrait or circle you can hide them the battery percentage that's how it is quick pull down is there basic things like network traffic monitor system icons tap to sleep show seconds these basic things have been added in the button settings you get system navigation into the gesture navigation you get left edge right edge and swipe to unlock the assistant gesture indicator there are option but very important option is to increase the gesture bar length that's missing here just edge touch area is you can customize and left and right edges sensitivity you can customize but you need to get those options in upcoming build if they add that could be better and click to partial screen so these are some of the gesture buttons shortcuts like that these are the little bit customization you can see in this pixel experience plus rom and coming into security you get face unlock and fingerprint unlock you can see the first finger face unlock as you can see it's very quick to unlock your smartphone using the face unlock and fingerprint unlock is also fast enough let me show you I have to take in the hand as you can see quick enough not bad definitely it's going to be good experience while unlocking smartphone using fingerprint and face unlock and these are the settings you get basic things like into the display you get basic dark theme it's not pitch black condition it's gray type based upon wallpaper it changes the theme here colors you can keep boosted saturated that's basic thing auto reduced screen unable or disabled from here and minimum maximum refresh rate kept to 120 notch behavior tap to wake and sleep wake on plug per app refresh rate is also added and additional display features if you enable this and play bgmi it will going to heat definitely don't enable that if you want to watch any videos then you can enable that don't forget while playing the game disable those things these are the settings and app basic settings if you want to change the default apps you can change from here game settings default app screen time plenty of options those are available i have told in plenty of videos and accessibility menus here you can use this is a handy feature just use this in order to use volume without using the buttons and without sliding the notification toggle if you want to use brightness like that you can use here beyond the quick settings as you can see it's a handy feature and at 12.1 it's going on improving that's really a good thing for stock android experience the accessibility menu plays a vital role if you look onto that and wallpapers and style that's very simple you get all the android 12 based wallpapers that's present not a problem here themed icons is still in beta and app grid size you can choose from 2 to 2 to see this is taking a little bit of load i mean time to load this it might happen for first time but that's how it is and fingerprint face unlock i already shown and coming to quick settings panel you get all the basic toggles working fine here no problem sync option is also added dark theme you can enable or disable from here and some of the options you can see here and there is an advanced restart button anyhow screenshot these things you can customize there 
that's how it is and smoothness is very fine here into quick settings panel it, this is really good i mean it's little bit faster what they done i don't know just swiping it it takes half a second but it's quickest not half second also but that's how it is that's the initial impression what i got even after using for couple of hours also it's fast enough this is really fast just see how fast this is compared to any other custom roms till date that's how it is they have done good job in that particular area privacy location settings everything is working fine as you can see here have google maps and drm info you will get level 1 certification you can watch all the audit application in hd resolution that's not the problem in this particular rom and the good thing is you get google camera here but it come with only 1x and 2x if you want ultra wide angle go to more settings here and if you want to use any xml also you can try them and go to modification settings and auxiliary camera and turn on this and turn the wide angle and check out i have spoken about this in some other videos also check out which id 3 is it working fine let me show you 0.6x it takes blurry images sometimes let's see okay again go to settings and change here if you have any problem you can go to modifications and change it to some other id2 id3 check out whichever it is working fine check out and have it and some of the customizes astro photography plenty are given if you don't want this just uninstall this and use the arno build gcam that's also working fine anx camera i don't know when it will come i also have more interest on that some of the mere camera application features that's good but it's not available that's how it is and uh, coming into settings again this is how the settings panel and smoothness in the ui everything is fine just i did not notice any bugs right now maybe in future it may come this is very simple rom and very good rom for day to day usages and uh, let's go into bgmi how it handle let's see it is the bgmi and settings you can see are smooth plus ultra only nothing great but if you know how to enable high fps count some people use this is as a gaming rom also they know how to have high fps and how to maintain the thermals using what fps and how need to be the fps it depends upon that they can make it as a gaming rom it's personal choice but most of them use for basic pixel experience that's the name itself tells let me know in the comment section guys anyone using this rom as a gaming rom or whatever your experience with this share your experience such that others will understand that's very important i can make videos but i can't share your experience that is very different i hope you guys understand and make your sharing your experiences such that it's better for you guys only i will definitely make each and every part of the custom rom i mean everything will be tested but it would be even better if you share some experience that left to you and you can see here it is fine no fs count can be shown here okay there was choppy the game is the game was chopped in uh, what sanok but it's how it is that's an hot spot with 40 fps you will feel the difference with 60 and 90 that's how it is and uh, fine enough for tdm and uh, basic games like cod might work better people requesting to make cod gameplay also but uh, you can understand already the lengthy video and time taking process i chosen again if i add call of duty gameplay it will be like very difficult i hope you guys understand it i'll try with major prompts i, I will try to add call of duty gameplay also in future definitely i'm not saying that i can't do it i want to do but that's how it is hope you guys understand that i never feel like to hesitate or anything to make any extra it depends like
time taking process like that that's why i don't add it and how many of them watch this bjma gameplay also i don't know i never check just want to make everything clear in every area i'll check it out even after this i'll show you the charging animation will it support 33 watt charger or not and by the way if you are first time to this channel guys subscribe to my channel i will be making similar kind of videos even tech related videos plenty already made you can check out in my channel please do subscribe and if you like the video give it a like okay let me come back it's fine enough to handle this game and uh, let me show you this charging animation will it support 33 watt charger or not white cable 33 watt charger it is recognizing face no i don't want that i want to show them charging speeds oh no let me again just remove face unlock to show you the charging speeds whatever it shows as you can see it's showing charging rapidly let me get into focus what happened to camera okay you can see here it's showing charging rapidly coming to verdict it's very simple it's a simple rom pixel experience you can try it out gaming as i said before and day to day usage and i really like this quick settings panel I, because i test many roms i can notice this simple change also i can notice it very much that's how it is this is very much faster here the quick settings panel maybe i'm wrong you can guys try it out your own also after flashing that you will definitely feel the difference compared to any other rom the quick settings panel opening is a little bit faster compared to any other custom roms for poco xc this is how the pixel experience 12.1 custom rom for poco x3 this is an unofficial build that's the one back side but anyhow it get with this uh, safety net status get passed and everything you can try it out as a daily error and thank you for watching we'll meet with another interesting video until that keep smiling baba for now